Liza Soberano pinalaan ang AFP official sa pagkikipagunayan nito sa Gabriela Youth. Hi, it's me again, Dan Malolis official, giving you a celebrity news update. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to click the like button, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell button to be updated for more videos. And for our celebrity news update today, Liza Soberano binalaan ng AFP official sa pakikipagugnayan nito sa Gabriela Youth. At narito ang report. A military official known to tag government critics as communist rebels has warned actress Liza Soberano against working further with left-leaning Gabriela Youth after the celebrity spoke as a guest in one of its events. Liza Soberano, there's still a chance to abdicate the group. Lieutenant General Antonio Parladi Jr. said, adding that she could suffer the same fate as Josephine Lapera, a Gabriela Youth member who died from an encounter with armed authorities three years ago. Parladi is the commander of the Southern Luzon Command of the Philippine Army and currently spokesperson of the National Task Force to End Local Communist Armed Conflict. He gave the same warning to Miss Universe 2018 Catriona Gray while red tagging the sister of actress Angel Luxin, Ella Colmenares. He alleged that Luxin's sibling is working with the New People's Army in Quezon. Gray, meanwhile, has been vocal against the government in some issues including the passage of the Anti-Terrorism Act and the shutdown of the ABS-CBN network. The choice is yours, Liza, and so with you, Catriona. Don't follow the path Kaela Colmenares took in the underground. Lieutenant Parlade said, Soberano in an online event with Gabriela Youth encouraged women and influencers to be vocal about different issues, but her speech was met by some accusations of involvement with the NPA. Barladi told the public not to red tag but instead educate Soberano. He has been known for accusing politicians of colluding with the Communist Party of the Philippines. He also claimed that progressive groups were plotting to unseat President Rodrigo Duterte in a plan known as Red October back in 2018. Gabriela Youth slammed the soldier for degrading his slave member Lapira whom they referred to as a martyr. They continuously make use of red tagging to silence everybody with or without organization who speak out against the Duterte region's tyrannical rule, the group said on Facebook. What can you say about these issues, guys? Ang pag-guest nga ba ni Liza Soberano sa isang event ng Gabriela Youth ay palatandaan ang pagsalib nito sa kanila? I-comment nyo na ang inyong mga saloobin at iwasan natin guys ang mga hate comments. Thank you and see you in my next videos. God bless.